Rockstar announced back in early June that the expanded and enhanced version for both the Xbox X and PS5 consoles is releasing November 11th, 2021. And yet we have still heard nothing despite the game or the upgrade releasing in less than or three months and a week or something like that. It's pretty close by, fellas. What's going on guys, it is Jago back again with another video, and today we are going to be talking about the expanded and enhanced version of Grand Theft Auto V, the game we know and love for the past 8 years, god I can't believe we're still playing this game, but anyways, we're going to be talking about it today and what I think it'll actually be, plus some theories that I have uh, for the future of GTA Online. Like I always say, please take this with a grain of salt, nothing is set in stone, I am not a rock star or a take two interactive employee, so please do not quote me on any of this. I do have some good theories, and I actually picked up on some things that Rockstar has been showing us along the way, so maybe I have uh, some good information, or maybe I don't. If you guys do not been joined though, please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and let's get right into it. The release date November 11th is pretty close by, and games like Battlefield 2042 have already released multiple trailers, and their game comes around October, November, around the same time, yet we have heard nothing from Rockstar what it'll actually be, except for character transfer, I believe we heard that you can transfer your PS4, Xbox One, and PC accounts to any of the PS5 and Xbox Series X consoles, which is a good thing if you've been sticking around GTA Online and want to continue your character on a next-gen console, but it's also kind of confusing. Could we transfer our PS4 character, Xbox One character, to the PC now? Or, you know, we don't know exactly what that could mean yet. Recently, Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive have actually been trying their best to take down some of the cheaters or the creators of these cheat menus in Grand Theft Auto Online. They've sent out uh, cease and desist orders for multiple menus, as well as they've been banning a lot of people. Uh, these mod menus are starting to become worthless and worthless by the day, and that's a good thing, you know? Maybe they want to make PC a cleaner and better place for this expanded enhanced version of the game. Now let me explain. What if there isn't exactly a new release of the PS, or sorry, the PC release of GTA 5? Maybe it's just one big update and people who already own it could just get the free update and download it, unlike the PS4, PS5 versions. You actually have to, you know, buy the whole new game because they can't, you know, just update the PS4 game that released back in 2014. PC is notoriously bad for modding. You ask anyone on the street, they will go, oh my, yeah, I don't play on PC. Yeah, PC's full of modders, cheaters, blah, blah, blah. They give me money drops all the time, which you can't do anymore. That's kind of good. But what if Rockstar was trying to make a selling point for PC by getting rid of these modders and cheaters to make the PC version of the game more purchasable, make some old or returning players come back to the game on PC, as well as get some new players. So though they haven't said quite exactly anything about the PC update or expanded enhanced version on PC uh, versus the PS5 and Series X uh, kind of uh, announcement, but it really wouldn't make any sense if it was just a graphical upgrade for the PS5 version of the game and leave PC in the dust. I personally think that GTA will get some sort of big overhaul or, you know, some kind of new features or UI or, or just something, you know, I don't think it's just going to be some simple graphical upgrade. It is very, very obvious that GTA Online still makes a lot of money. It's been its most popular month uh, when the Los Santos Tuners update came out, uh, you know, ever. It, it was still blowing up the charts and breaks records year after year after year in player count. So yes, obviously it makes money. And if it makes money, obviously they want to keep updating the game. So another theory I have about this new release is that it'll be a big overhaul and more live event content. You look at Red Dead Online, they have better daily challenges, uh, you know, better seasonal content like the Battle Pass, or sorry, no, it's the Outlaw Pass in Red Dead Online. Maybe it won't be exactly like that, but we also got a new rep system with the Los Angeles Tutors update, so maybe they'll make some sort of seasonal rep system where you can go from 0 to 100 during the summer months, or 0 to 100 during the winter months, unlocking winter content, or just some sort of new content overall. 
Now, why I think that GTA Online will get more updates than it is right now, with only two a year to maybe more live event content, maybe four to six a year or something like that, I may be going out on a limb saying that, but hear me out. They are also getting rid of the Xbox 360 and PS3 servers, which could also mean in the upcoming years or months, maybe 2022, 2023, maybe they'll call it quits on the PS4 and the Xbox One updates to continue upgrading the next-gen versions of the game. We also heard, which take with a grain of salt, please, that GTA 6 might not be coming out till 2025. Now, let's say it's 2025. Uh, yeah, we still got a long ways away till that day, you know, four plus years until that day. So, obviously, with GTA Online still making money through the updates, uh, you know, breaking records of player counts, this new upgrade, getting, you know, rid of the old shitty Xbox 360 servers. Um, yeah, I think they're going to continue updating the game a lot. Because the last gen consoles, well both the Xbox 360 age as well as the PS4 age, they're getting really old and having trouble, you know, kind of running GTA Online because those consoles came out back when uh, this game first came out, back in 2013. So I think Rockstar's going to get rid of all the old crap and make this expanded enhanced version some kind of big overhaul and, you know, make the game more playable. Uh, better graphical upgrades that sort of thing as well as some like big overhaul with the ui maybe the job list systems because those are so crappy more live events more seasonal content maybe up to four six updates a year which we actually did at one point back in 2014 back in 2015 we used to get like four five six updates a year and now we're only limited to two which is kind of low considering that this game is still breaking records on the player count come on rock like update the game rocks there's still a lot of interesting things to do in gta online but uh, they're also really old things that need to be updated somehow or some way Maybe take the old heist, for example, and give them a better payout. Or maybe you can do the setups in free roam now, or something like that. You know, I'm kind of going out on a limb here, but just an upgrade to the payout would make those heists, uh, you know, playable, actually useful to the GTA Online community. Now, I love using this example of Red Dead Online and how their businesses work and how players make money in Red Dead Online, like the Moonshine or Trader business, for example. You can do all of that solo and very easily in free mode seamlessly you don't have to do multiple resupply missions you only do one every once in a while you can actually see how much crap you have and how much you're actually going to sell you know it's not just like bars of just colors it's 24 out of 100 trader goods or hey you have 14 minutes left on your moonshine sale Plus, you can do all those sale bi sales solo. You don't have to be in a four-man crew to sell some fucking guns to the, the lovely people of Los Santos, you know? So maybe an overhaul or better quality of life thing for businesses would be something, you know, GTA or Rockstar could do with this overhaul or expanded enhanced version of this game. So with all of that being said, I am worried that we haven't heard anything about the expanded enhanced version of the game. Uh, people are still having a very hard time getting their hands on extra consoles, the, you know, the splicers or whatever the fuck they're called, the bots buying up all the PS5s and Xbox Xs. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, it, you know, it, it took me two days straight of staying up to get me one of these PS, PS5s and I wouldn't do it again, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, people are still struggling, which could mean that Rockstar may save the expanded enhanced version till more people get next-gen consoles because they would make a hell of a lot more sales if 20 or 30 million people had these next-gen consoles versus the 10 or so million which are only on the ps5 side I, you know they did reveal that they've sold over 10 million ps5s which is pretty insane i feel like it should be way more than that but whatever because the fact that they haven't said anything really worries worries me i think it's going to be delayed I think it'll be delayed until maybe spring of 22, 2022 or something like that. Maybe even like the February first quarter of 2022. Who knows? But then again, Rockstar's known for being really, really quiet and they don't say much of anything until, you know, the upcoming weeks. Like with the Los Angeles Tuners update or the new Red Dead Online update that they released back in July. They pretty much released trailers and what the hell that update was going to be a week before. 
Uh, back in the day, we used to get news about these updates like a month or two before and actually get trailers and stuff for them. And we'd be like, wow, and, you know, it'd build up some hype, bring people back to the game, and, you know, and just, you know, slowly increase that player count. But Rockstar nowadays is fairly quiet in their new updates or their new games, which they don't release any new games. So, <laughs> you know, they're updates. So yeah, I think the Expand Enhanced version will be some sort of overhaul or just better quality of life, UI, something. I don't think it's just going to be some sort of graphical upgrade for the console version of this. I don't think they would leave the PC players out in the dust like that, which, you know, if they get rid of the modders and cheaters, send out more cease and desist orders, then maybe PC will be a more playable place and will actually allow people to play legitimately and not have to worry about these modders or cheaters because... Uh, they are very dangerous. They can pull your IP, DDoS you, they can do whatever the hell they want. And that's pretty scary. I you know more than anyone else here that it is very easy to get a mod menu. Whether it's a free one or a paid one, you can take or you know, steal information from people who don't even know. You can just be regularly playing in a GT Online session not knowing what the hell's going on. While you're stealing their IP or just DDoSing them. And, you know, that sort of scary thing that could be happening at any point in the PC side of things. So, if Rockstar got rid of all of that, then they can make a selling point to the PC version of this expand enhanced version of the game or whatever. I don't know. Like I said, I don't think it's going to be a graphical upgrade for the consoles. I think it's going to be some sort of big overhaul or just some sort of new collectibles or something, maybe for story mode or, you know, like the next gen version of this game back in 2014, we got like first person mode and, you know, some more collectibles and single player. You know, maybe it'll be a little bit something like that, but who knows? I think it's just going to be some sort of overhaul or quality of life thing, UI thing, period. I think it'll be some sort of good, decent upgrade. It's just we don't know yet because Rockstar hasn't said anything. But anyways, I'm done rambling. Hopefully you guys did enjoy them. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe to our post notifications. Hopefully I didn't talk too long or talk too out of, uh, I don't know, track to make sense to you guys. I think I, I think I did a pretty good job to make some good sense. Well, uh, thanks again for watching. If you watched the whole video, drop me a one down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.